So, when I asked you guys which Lego sets you wanted to see built out of the Star Wars backlog, this is what you came up with. These are the top three. We have Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter, we got Darth Vader's Castle, and we've got the Sand Crawler. And I looked at the three of these, and there's one that I have a vendetta against that I need to build, and it's the Sand Crawler. The reason that I chose the Sand Crawler is because I have a little bit of history with this set. This was the Lego set that I took with us to the beach that I was planning to build if we had some downtime, like a rainy day or whatever. And that day just didn't come, which is a good thing when you're on vacation, but a bad thing when you spend all the time and effort packing this thing, taking it into your hotel room, then you have to take it back out, load it in the car, you drive it home, make sure the box doesn't get damaged. Just a lot to go through. So I kind of have a vendetta against this set and I want to see it built because I feel like it's already lived its life. So that's what we're going to start today. We're going to start the process of building this starting with the unboxing and I'm seeing already that I think this has one of those boxes. Yeah, it's just like that. Cloud City that I did. I am not a fan of this Lego, not a fan. I don't think there's a good way of doing this, but that's about as good as it gets. And then you're left with this piece on the inside here. But speaking of inside, look at that. We've got a lot of stuff in here, completely filled. Start picking out the bags again. I'm gonna do this like a gentleman and not dump it out like I would have before. I do wanna see this though. Look at that. Completely flat manual. Lego, this is all I'm asking is that you put our manuals into little bags like this. It doesn't cost a lot of money and it keeps everything nice and flat. Do I see a sticker sheet? It's got to be in here somewhere, right? Let's keep digging. Got another bag. Another one. Oh, bag six. This is nowhere as bad as Cloud City. I'm, at least I'm assuming that. This is only, what, 1,239 pieces, so not so bad. Let's just... Let's just do it. I can't resist. We got to dump it out. And inside here, you'll find yourself a whole slew of brown and tan pieces. Let me get the bags lined up here for you so we can do this nice and orderly. I don't know why I do this. I just kind of like it when everything's nice and laid out and I can kind of see what I'm working with here. Here's a look at the lineup. All nine bags up here, bag one. Probably the most colorful of the bunch. And I imagine a lot of Technic in there as well, because we're going to be building the inside of this bad boy. And you can see from there, we've got some things going on. We also have a couple minifigs with this too that I should show you. We got some Jawas. We got a Jenny, aka Luke Medical Droid, RA7, and R5A2, also known as D2 in some circles. Star Wars fans are triggered. But here's the rest of the bags. And what we're looking at here, again, every one of these bags looks almost identical to me, but going to build up a pretty cool set. I'm looking forward to this. As I mentioned before in my last video where I talked about the backlog, this is a bit smaller than all of their sand crawlers and way more expensive than what it should have been. I picked this up for $80 off eBay, which I thought was pretty fair. It's gone cheaper than that online. So if you've wanted this set, you've had a chance to get it. And I think I've shared some of the deals of it if you've wanted it. Again, I know it's kind of a tough sell on Star Wars fans because you've had better sand crawlers in the past, at least bigger ones. But for me and my collecting style or the point where I'm at right now, this is kind of perfect for me to have a bit of a smaller one. So on that, let's open up this manual and take a look at the build. Believe it or not, I've actually considered opening these bags really nice and saving them just to keep my manuals in, but I haven't started doing that. And obviously I just butchered that one, so it's not gonna happen now. But look at this. I just don't know how much I appreciate a flat manual. I know it's something that most people probably don't care about, but for me, it means a lot. Here's our nine bags, or at least the first six of them. Bag one, we got a Luke and a Jawa minifig they treat us to, and also the cart that goes inside in the very beginning of the sand crawler, which just keeps getting bigger and taller and better and better and more. There, we got more minifigs there. Is that it for six? Where the heck is everybody else at? I missed R5, he's down here in bag three. So looks like every couple bags you get a minifig out of this. That was the one thing that I loved about Cloud City is it was just minifig crazy. There's other Jawa, then they save this guy for, for last and there's bag nine, it's all finished up, which is where I hope to be sometime soon. I know a lot of you naysayers have said in the past, it takes me months and months to build sets, but I've proven to you that I can get these things done fast. And that's what I plan to do here. I'm gonna start working on this little by little, and I'll take you through the process of this and show you my progress as we go on Lego Star Wars set 75220, the sand crawler. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're looking forward to this. I will be building the two other sets that you guys wanna see. They're gonna be built during Star Wars month. Don't worry about that. And we've got a lot of other small stuff to build as well. We'll see a lot of these sets. And if there is something that you really wanna see, I must show the Nizago set. If there's something you really wanna see, let me know. If you want to see the last video, that's going to be linked above as well. So thank you for watching 
And as always, we'll see you in the next unboxing video.